In this video, I'm going to teach the Magician's Force. The Magician's Force is a way of forcing one selection out of two onto the spectator. Uh, generally, it can't be repeated multiple times in a row. Um, however, with clever misdirection and timing, it can work. So, in this example, I'll say, suppose we have two packets of cards, and we want to force the spectator to have a packet of cards with the Ace of Diamonds on top. Then, what we do is we say to the spectator, uh, choose any pile, you know, one or two. No matter what the spectator says, so, so maybe he says uh, one. He just says, okay, we don't need that. And then that leaves us with the packet with the ace. If the spectator says two, okay, so say, okay, we'll use that packet, we don't need this. Either way, the spectator thinks that the packet he chose was, uh, you know, selected or whatever. So, um, as you can see, the difficulty in it is if you say, you know, choose a packet one or two, and they say, you know, one, you say, okay, let's remove that. If you have to do it later on, and you say, you know, choose a packet two or one, and they choose uh, two, and you pull this one away, they'll be like, that's inconsistent with what happened earlier. So, uh, some of the things you can do is, what I did there was I uh, named the right one as one and the left one as two, and then the next time I named this one as one and this one as two. That kind of confuses the spectator a little bit. Uh, another thing is, if you maximize the amount of time in between uh, when the spectator is making the selection, uh, that also helps you know the spectator to forget uh, what happened last time. And that's basically the magician's force. Uh, and yeah.